Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. My name is Trudy. I'm your Portu Gypsy Angel Medium, and this is your November 2020 reading. The time frame is suggested because time is cyclical and uh, doesn't have to be linear. So whenever you run into this reading, it's divine time and, you know, cross watchers, always welcome. If you have any other placement that happens to be Capricorn, there you go. I hope that it resonates. If it doesn't, you're welcome to check out another YouTube reader, whatever. If you want a personal exchange of energies, click on the description box below. It's a little downward facing arrow there and follow those instructions and we will get together and make it happen. Also, if you're seeing the red subscribe button, I don't know why you haven't just subscribed yet, but go ahead, feel free, leave me comments, I love comments. Oh yeah, I love that. We cut the deck and bottom of the deck we got the sun card. So you might be dealing with a Leo or you might have some Leo in your chart. You might benefit from watching the Leo reading, which I have yet to put out. Um, and from the top, we've got... We've got some treachery and deceit here. You know, somebody's wearing like a false mask. They don't want to reveal to you the truth, or perhaps you don't want to reveal to them the truth. Um, you know, and also like if there is an invitation for you to go somewhere and have a good time, you are encouraged to go out and have a good time. Enjoy yourself, Capricorn, because you haven't been doing so you haven't been socializing and like you know the world wants to interact with you it's time it's time to break your uh your quarantine also if there's something that you're waiting for it's not going to come just yet in november <laughs> whatever it is that you're waiting for you're gonna keep on waiting it's uh it's not happening just yet but this is adding to your patience and there's something that can be learned during the stillness of the waiting um, there's a reason for the waiting. So besides that, we've got Page of Wands here. Somebody is very needy emotionally. Somebody's very like, I want, I need, wah, wah, wah. And somebody needs time or affection or they're just wanty and needy and not, they're, they're codependent almost. Uh, they're not self-sufficient, and this could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, it could be, I'm, I'm hearing that for somebody, it's a teenage child or a child in general that does need your affection and attention at this time. It could be a stepchild or a younger sibling in some events. Um, is it, It's a legitimate cry for help. Um, and in some instances, it's just attention-seeking behavior, so you have to kind of figure out which way this plays out in your reading. Also, you know, if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. All right, we got the Ten of Swords over here. So this could be you feeling stabbed in the back, Capricorn. I don't know who stabbed you in the back. Remember, I was saying there's false masks. Somebody's wearing false masks. So you get stabbed in the back here in the month of November. I don't know if this is by coworkers or a relationship or family members, but... You feel awfully betrayed, alone, cold, lost, and loveless. And let me tell you, from this card, I know it sounds really grim, but from this card, the outcome gets better, okay? Because from the ground, the only way is up. So it's going to be good. And then we have the King of Swords here, and skies so filled with logic. He comes across as emotionless. He makes every decision based on logic. You could be dealing with an air sign. This could be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. They're very of the mind. This could be also indicative of the winter suit, somebody whose birthday is in the winter months. Um, so it doesn't just have to be limited to Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. It could be uh, somebody whose birthday is, you know, coming in uh, 
you know, Scorpio and uh, Sagittarius, your Capricorn, you know, so it, it could be in the winter months. Um, but this is definitely of the mind. This is somebody who is very logic filled. They make every decision based on logic. And this could be what you're turning into a refined version of yourself. So, you know, I really do feel that actually, because it comes after the 10 of swords. You are always going to be solvent Capricorn. You're hardworking and you always land on your feet. So even after the betrayal, you're still a fucking king. And you got your sword up. You're armed. So I pity the fool. And that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you so much. Love me back. Love yourself. Love everybody around you. Bye.